What's going on, Champagne Gang? Fizz fam, Confidant. Welcome to another episode of Fizz Feed Conversations. Our opinions, their stories. And today we have breaking news. Y'all, it looks like somebody tried to take out Trump. I mean, for real, y'all, is it really this serious? Is it really this serious? Number one, didn't the Simpsons predict this in an episode? Thanks be unto God, he survived, though. So that part of the episode did not come true. But it looks like in the middle of his campaign speech, gunshots rung out and Trump was hit. It looks like he might have just been grazed by the uh, grazed on the ear. And uh, you did see him get back up. The Secret Service rushed him. But I want to go over to, hold on one second, NBC News, where it says, uh, former President Donald Trump was rushed off stage with blood on the side of his head and his ear after shots were fired just minutes after his rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday. Uh, Trump is currently safe and expected to survive, according to two senior law enforcement officials. One spectator is deceased. A second is in serious condition, according to the Butler County District Attorney. The shooter is deceased, NBC confirmed. Trump was about six minutes into his speech when he reached for the side of his face as popping sounds rang out over the rally. He then crouched down as Secret Service agents rushed to the stage and surrounded him. He was quickly escorted into a vehicle walking off the stage with agents on his side. Trump put Trump pumped his fist in the air as he was escorted off the stage. The crowd cheered as the former president raised his arms. Reporters on the scene saw smoke and heard what they initially thought were fireworks before everyone ducked and law enforcement circled Trump. Screams from the audience could be heard. A doctor attending the event told NBC News that he saw a man suffer a gunshot wound to the head and help carry him from the site of the rally. Speaking in a parking lot near the event, a mother and son who were attending the rally told NBC News they saw people in the crowd who were injured and carried away. People remained at the scene for 10 to 15 minutes after Trump was taken away, after which they were then told it was an active crime scene and all attendees were escorted out. Three senior law enforcement officials said they are looking into whether two other individuals in the crowd were shot at the rally. The threat has been contained according to the official. Now, at the top of the article, it does say the former president is expected to survive. Two law enforcement officials said the shooter and one spectator from the rally are deceased and another spectator is in serious condition. So y'all listen, whether you like Trump or not, no one's life should be in jeopardy because you don't like them. Come on now y'all, we need to grow up. This has nothing to do with Democratic. This has nothing to do with Republican. This has to do with life. No one's life deserves to be in jeopardy because you do not agree with their stance or who they are at all. This was immature. This was disgraceful. This was sick because other individuals always end up hurting this in situations like this. You have a spectator who is just there at the rally who is unalive. You have another spectator who is fighting for their life and you have this man who has been hit. But for what? Now I'm highly a conspiracy so we can look at this one of two ways, right? Y'all excuse my phone. It's gonna keep going on. I gotta keep it on. <laughs> but we can look at this one of two ways. One, we can look at this as this is possibly a Democrat who has a problem with fact that they think that Trump could potentially beat Biden. And they feel like the only way to stop him from beating Biden is to take him out, literally. But then you can also look at this on the flip side, which is the conspiracy side of things. And this is a Republican who did this to ensure a Trump win by making you think it was a Democrat. And if you don't think it's possible, what what about this article right here with the man from Arizona who was going to go on a mass shooting spree of African Americans to start a race war to guarantee the presidency for Trump? Come on now, y'all. Is this what we've come to as a country? But I told y'all in another video, in another one of my Trump Watch 2024 videos, that we were going to be in for a ride. 
Trump has already said if he does not win there's going to be a bloodbath. What makes you think there isn't the potentiality for one to happen before he gets in office? What makes you think someone wouldn't want to create one in order to ensure he gets in office? Because right now he looks like the martyr. He looks like the victim. And instead of everyone stepping back and putting on a criminal minds uniform, putting on a first 48 uniform, putting on that investigation discovery uniform, and trying to think their way through it, they're automatically going to think Democrat. So guess what? The far left wing Republicans are going to be ready for blood for this. Where, where, where are we going as a country? That's what I want to know. Except to hell if we don't change this behavior. Y'all, come on now. Somehow I thought that 2020 would be the worst of what we've seen after dealing with the pandemic. But 2021 got worse. 2022 got even worse. 2023 went to hell and 2024 goodness what are we doing at this point i just want to win the lottery <laughs> and have the money to buy an island i'm gonna name it champagne city and the only people that's gonna be invited to the champagne city are going to be my champagne gang my fizz fam and my confidants all the rest of y'all can go to hell because no no this is not okay you can't leave out the house you can't go to a rally you 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 can't support a president you just nothing is safe nothing and you wonder why trump is rallying so hard for cleaning up these streets you wonder why and this that just happened is gonna go right along with it and people are gonna sit back and see and say yep trump was right we do need to clean up the street yeah i'm so much of a conspiracy my thoughts regarding this is going to hell and back let me tell you there is nothing like bloodshed to rally a people if you don't believe me look back in history Nothing like bloodshed to rally a people, whether they're deceased or still alive. Blood answers with blood. And in my opinion, it's about to get real bloody. Hide your kids, hide your mama, hide your grandparents. Stay in the house because who knows what's coming next. If someone could go this far and don't think just because it was just one that we know of, that there probably isn't somebody sitting back thinking, oh, he messed up the job. Let me go back and finish it. Y'all, this is why I don't trust nobody but God right now because his people down here cutting up cutting up check out this clip from the spectator that was there at the rally uh, honor that's exactly where i heard him come from what did you see sir um i heard the shots um i um uh, i thought it was firecrackers to begin with uh, somebody over there was screaming he's been shot he's been shot so i made my way over uh i said i'm an emergency department physician let me help you the guy had spun around was jammed between the benches. He had a headshot here. There's lots of blood and he had brain matter there. Oh, and so I got him. There's a helicopter coming in to get him. Uh, so uh, I got people there really helpful. I got was him there only on the bench. Shot that you saw? Then I did CPR, did chest compressions as well as a grief form. One person. Yeah. I was only one that did it. So there has since been an update from Donald Trump on Truth Social, and it says, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was unlived, and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now deceased. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong in that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. God bless America. Y'all, this right here probably single-handedly handed Trump the win because we love a martyr. We're going to keep following this to see if there's updates that comes out later about the shooter. Um, so please stay tuned. 
Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Do you think this was someone from the Democratic Party upset about Trump running and a potential win? Do you think this was a false flag situation that's trying to get us to pay attention to one thing while something else is going on? Or do you think this is someone from the Republican Party trying to make us think it was a Democrat to ensure Trump win? Let me know what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button, notification bell, so you'll be notified when we jump into whichever sector we jump into for another show. All I'm going to say to conclude this is we need to get it together. I I'm just not understanding why we still have so much hate, so much venom, so much vile animosity in the world. I don't understand. I don't have to agree with what you do to respect you. You don't have to agree with what I do or say to respect me, but we should all be respected. And I think that's what we're missing as a people, as a nation, as a country. We have lost all sense of damn respect for each other and it's sick and it's sad. It's the kind of behavior that will not be tolerated over here at Champagne Secret. We love, we uplift, we support each other. We don't tear down. And until we get that, there's going to continue to be an issue. Thank you for tuning in to another Fizz Feed Conversation. Trump Watch 2024. Until next time, see you soon.